Hi folks. Uh, with this video I feel like trying. Give it a go. If uh, I can help the mind to understand why self-inviting for projectors is a trap of the mind itself and that it will not work. And um, I did it myself. I was in that mind trap and and I get it very much and because it's it's coming up again and again these questions and I know for myself it came up for me as well can I as a projector invite myself is there a way how I somehow can trick me into an invitation or anything in that direction and just to make that very clear it's not about not trying it out, right? This is the experiment. Try it out. See for yourself. That's really not what, what I say, to don't try it out. But I feel if the mind has a construct it can come back to and understand why that maybe doesn't feel really fluffy. <laughs> So, you know, to understand what's actually going on, that is really helpful to understand. Okay, to, to, to see why invitation, I inviting myself doesn't work, I have to go to the mechanics, to the, just to the mechanics itself and to just quick repeat what most know already is that what means mechanic? Mechanic means mechanic means a natural law. We we don't know that they are so strong because we didn't got taught it. We 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 learn to live with gravity. We learn that river uh, that water always goes down because we have a very increased awareness of these physical laws. Now the mechanics of the Maya or the mechanics of a human being or of any creature is nothing else but we didn't got taught it so it's and, and we got taught something completely contradictive to that. That's what it makes so difficult at the beginning to understand that these are mechanics that are really not artificial. They are not created by a mind. They are real. And that's why a projector needs an invitation. That's why a generator needs to respond because it's a deep, deep natural law that makes us being the that makes us being being here on that plane in a very specific way. So the moment you have no connection to a motor, to the throat, if you are cut off in any way, so there is no colored influent way in any way from one of these motors, to the throat all right and I speak now only of projectors so if this is as well then open then it means there is no consistent way to manifest anything or to generate anything and for that we need an energetic correct invitation that the energy can really flow to the throat all right it's like projectors are a bit like you know you have you have a water running system and um and there is just a wall it it cannot go to the ocean the the water cannot go to the ocean now if you are a motor projector the pressure might be very strong to want to go to the ocean and you still can't go alone to the ocean you need in someone an outer force and that can be the transit that can be for projectors the best it's someone else that opens the gate so the flow can naturally go to the sea 
So now, the, the mind is very strong in believing it has power in whatever we are open, right? My mind sits all here, everywhere where it's white, my mind is sitting. And as you can see here in these three bridging gates, I'm very close to believing my mind that it says, but if I just do that, or if I just would do that, then then it should be easy. So this self-inviting, you know, to think that you in some way could gather the energy to do something is the illusion the mind creates. And you can actually force yourself a bit into that. You know, you can force yourself into doing stuff because that is how we all live on this plane. Our mind is sitting here somewhere in the openness, right? And thinks it has power if it makes a decision from here. It really thinks if, if and and there the, the mechanics operate in that way that it's not only very attractive what we don't have, but because we all want to reach the throat, we have to check where is the shortest connection in our chart from any motor to the throat. So for me, it's easy to see that this any of these three gates. But as well, if you have any other projector, you would just check which is your shortest way to get any kind of motor connection to the throat. And this is where your mind sits in um, very strongly and makes you believe that if you would just adjust here something, or if the other would just adjust here something, or if the world adjusts here something, then this would actually uh, bring something. And your mind really thinks you could do something about it. That's very often the case. And that is when you think you could invite yourself. Was that any clear? If we go to the picture of the water, right, in a canal, and here is a, I go until here, and I need this force, yeah, to go to, to go to the sea, then this needs to be really there. It needs to be really there. Now the mind imagines here now the other thing. And the mind does has a certain power we all see. And this is so strong that it makes out of this other half here, just by imagine it would be there, 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 imagine it would be there. Would be there. Being here constantly somehow present in that thinking itself into a reality, it really believes that at a certain point. That is where the not self is then so strong and, and, and ruling our mind to believe that is really something we could do. And to understand, to, to let the understanding arise from within that this is the mind fooling me. I see that as something very brave to admit. And again, it's, it takes a lot as well experimenting with that to understand I can't invite myself into doing something. I mean, I can force my body to do something. I can do that always. I can force my body to be creative. I can force my body to tidy up my room. I can force my body to go out for a walk. I can force my body to all certain kind of stupid things. Because that's how the world operates. That's what's happening everywhere around. That's how we got rose up. Make up your mind and do something about it. It's deep. It's deep. The homogenized belief that we could know what our body wants to do. But it's energy. It's about energy. It's if the energy is not there, if there is no connection to the ocean, 
The water can't go to the ocean. It has to wait until there is come. I don't know the English word in German, Schleuse. It has to wait until the other side comes in or another whole stream or whatever it is to need to get connected to the throat. It needs to wait. And as a projector, to understand that this correct invitation is not one we respond to an article in the newspaper. We are not we are not in the same way mechanically designed like a generator, a generator who is have this developing aura and takes every everything in from sense to to noise, to, to seeing, to hearing, everything it's taking in and it can respond to it. This is nothing we projectors are here to, to do. This is what we get wise about, but it's not what we are here to do. So, so we can't make us to generate us, neither can we make us to 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 manifestors we are non energy types we somehow need a correct invitation coming to us through the other where our authority has then a chance to process if this is correct for us to say yes to that invitation or no and then the energy gets provided and by this something will flow and it's natural as as anything that is natural yeah that's it i hope there was something in for you and I hope it was a bit clear and again have fun with experimenting it. It's all about understanding how much the mind <laughs> has power and is ruling our life and just getting this. Oh my God, this is just another place where my mind still believes it can rule the show. Oh my God, and I always saw that is me. No, not another thing. It's just that. And oh yeah, maybe that's the last thing, but that's why, even though it's really hard for us projector to wait and to, to, because nothing happens, maybe nothing happens. There is no invitation coming. There is no one banging at your door and you can experiment with nothing. And, and, and it's not, I believe it's not because I do it wrong or anything is wrong with me. It's simply because these seven years or maybe even longer it depends from person to person but particularly these first seven years are very precious for us to just let stuff go which is not us it's precious to let go of what is not us to understand deeply where my mind fools me to understand your own energy level. How much energy do you have as an energy projector? I have to constantly feel this, that there is energy inside me which want to move but can't. So that, that's a very different journey than someone who, who has no who has no motor at all as a projector and, and feels like, oh my God, I need, I need at least one motor to, you know. There's a very different journeys, but still it's very precious even so, it's hard. It's hard beyond explanation. This time where we are all only by oneself and nothing from the outside comes that, that makes our energy go out in the way that would for us feel like, wow, now there is something. Yeah. Bye.